fly at WonderCon when he said the finale would be a game changer. Yeah. <laughs> it was, right? It was. It broke, uh, it, 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 it not only kind of went into new territory, um, which was, it, what was exciting for us is also it broke away from procedural. For two yeah. You know, we, we didn't do a brain of the week. Um, and exploring that dynamic and, and now being able to we're still rooted in procedural and season three will be procedural but we can still have moments where we don't have to rely on the brain of the week we can do what we want now and it's, we can really kind of mess with the format of our show and I think that's quite exciting for the future have you started shooting the next season no, yet? Monday can you give a hint about what's going on? Um, I mean, it, it's um, a lot of it's to deal with the aftermath of the finale. Um, it's not done in exposition. Um, you're going to you'll actually just see the characters dealing with the aftermath rather than you know. Last year, when the Max Rager outbreak happened, we're, we're, we're dealing with that. So that's the most I can really say about about that. Very soon. That's a good <laughs> Would that Very be soon. minutes or hours or days? It's like, I mean, if, if that's the maximum you could, you know, time we would do, we're, we're like there. So. <laughs> so, how do you think this is going to affect your character moving forward? I mean, probably not. Really? Rabbi kind of exists in his own world. Um, I, I was just saying over there. And, it's strange. I never, I've never worked with uh, uh, Eddie Jameson, who plays Stacey Boss. I never worked with Stephen Webber. I don't really interact outside of the main cast. Rabbi's a conduit between the main group. Um, so anytime there's an introduction of uh, a new big bad, I'm always led to be just based on the previous that. Oh, Ravi will. It will affect him in a overarching way, but nothing directly. That's quite rare. Um, and all I've been told for, for season three is it's um, it's going to be it's Ravi, Peyton, and Blade. Then, but that's going to be a lot. We'll see that developing as a continuation. Do you think that you'll be interacting with the other group more, though? I mean, at all? Hopefully. Yeah, it's always nice for a change. I mean, I, I'm to be honest, like I've done a, a lot of work with um, Liv, obviously, and um, Clive and, and Major. Not so much with the Peyton and Blaine characters. That was something that started messing up happening on the back end of season two, particularly Blaine and Ravi starting their dynamic and their kind of rivalry. Um, and so that's new for me and we can get to I know that we're going to have more of that in store so that's what I'm kind of excited about because you know for, for almost 35 33 episodes I solely kind of dealt with Major Liv and Clyde so it's, it's going to be cool for Ravi to have a whole dynamic that is away from that How's Clive knowing being a part of like TV changed the dynamic? Yeah oh, massive I, I mean that's what we're kind of looking forward to is that people now can see what the group dynamic is. Clive knows, Peyton knows, Major is, uh, Liv is, Ravi knows. So it's going to be interesting. We, we don't have to have secrets anymore between the group. And um, I'm liking this Scooby-Doo idea. So what's the next step for him to try to find a cure? Well, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's led to amnesia. Um, so it looks like it's back to square one. Um, we know he's got tainted utopia, but he needs to re kind of think how he's, he's you know he's, he's recreated the formula, but this something's wrong with this one. Um, so I, I'm, I'm guessing we're going to be moving forward. I hope it's not to do with more rats. I eat rats. <laughs> But yeah, apart from that, yeah, we'll be doing uh, a bit more cure as well. Do you really hate rats? I do, yeah, I'm from London. I, I, He's a nice I can't tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to like these massive ones jumping out of our bins and, you know, running around in the bushes in our gardens and stuff. Like huge, like black, you know, the plague ones, the black death. <laughs> <laughs> and then they like hold these domestic ones, huh? It's like, to, you know what I mean? It doesn't mean anything to me. Like, <laughs> So you'll notice Rabbi doesn't hold rats anymore. Liv holds the rat. I don't do it. Now in your contract, no more rat holding. We just don't. No, it's not even that. 
they just know it takes all day. Because <laughs> it takes me about an hour to, to psych myself up. I don't hold them well, so they're jumping around because I'm nervous and I'm flinching. So they just let Rose do it. So it's more out of like trying to make our day. Rose does the, uh, the whole thing. Um, so what about romance? Yeah, oh, well, it's, it's, well I, I don't know if you can call Ravi and Peyton romance. I mean... It just doesn't seem to want to get off the ground. But that's great because it doesn't make for good TV. You know, the best kind of relations to play are the, are the roller coaster ones. And I think what's cool about Ravi and Peyton is that they make a good couple. Um, they balance each other out quite well. But it can't take off. And it's a stop start. It's a no start. Or, um, and now you've got Blaine that's the fold as well. Um, that's that's going to be the kind of. Ravi's main thing. But that's not to say there won't be extra for other people. I'm sure there'll be some new people coming in and out as well. Last question. What's the fan reaction been? What is, what is it like coming to Comic Con? It's my, Comic Con's like my favourite thing. It's, um, it was the first thing I did for I saw me properly before we shot season one. And as a fan, as someone who went to conventions, this is one of those moments for me where I was like, not like a mark of success, but like, wow, like, I've made it to Comic Con, and and it hasn't worn off. It's still, even to see the logo and standing behind that, it's, it's for someone who used to stream it, and you know, it's it energizes us just before we start filming as well. We get to meet the people who digest our content, and. And it puts everything back into perspective, you know, and, and how it fused everyone was with the work we've done. And when we start filming again, you just go in with that kind of can-do attitude and you want to just even deliver even more than what we've got last year. Thank you. Thank you.